father and sons crabbing hey folks welcome back to the channel if you are one of our supporters first of all thank you very much but secondly you will see us crab occasionally from time to time now if you clicked on this video because you wanted to know the very basics of crabbing and you don't have any knowledge or any gear we got you covered okay alex show them what you got i got the collapsible trap if you get one collapsible trap, that's essentially all you need to go catch some crabs. Ryan, show them another way we can catch crabs. The hand line with that, the net. The hand line, exactly. And you do need a net for that. We're going to show you that specifically. That's a little more technically challenging, but it's super exciting. So you're going to see us use both of these methods, and we're going to describe them a little bit more, but I'm going to narrate on the GoPro. Should you tell them who else is here? Me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi fans, it's good to be with you. Okay y'all, so more on that collapsible trap. This is a trap you can buy at virtually any bait and tackle store at a location where there are blue crabs or you can order them online. I would always encourage you to go to a local bait and tackle store to support it, number one, but also just to get advice because it's so much more efficient to talk to someone there and learn some techniques about crabbing than it is to be ordering something online. Anyhow, I've made a couple modifications to this that are super important. Number one, I have two weights that I have strapped to the bottom here. That's because you want the trap to land that way instead of upside down. Thing number two is I've replaced the strings. The strings that come with these are typically pretty flimsy and they break if you get snagged. So those are the modifications I've made to this. We've used this now for over a year. It's worked out really well for us. What I'm gonna do is I've got some sea mullet. We like to use fish rather than chicken. So I've got some sea mullet that I've cut up and we're gonna strap to the bottom of this and throw it out. I've got the fish zip tied onto the bottom zip ties or cable straps tend to work really well for this and you don't have to throw them out typically far but we're just gonna go right in here and let that sit and then you basically let the kids argue over who's gonna pull it up okay now we're gonna get a hand line out and these are simply a triangular shaped thing where there's a sharp edge which comes undone here and you just put a chunk of meat on here in this case we're just gonna use a little piece of cut fish and we're going to push that on. you got to be careful here because the edge is sharp. And we're going to clip it back on. So it's just a little piece of meat. And what we're going to do is drop it down here. And then we're going to give it a little bit of slack. And so the way you can kind of tell when a crab is on is you'll see the slack come out of the line because a lot of times a crab will run with it once it has the meat. And then once we have one on, we'll show you the technique. It's a little tricky. It, it is possible to do by yourself. If you're a fisherman and you're used to netting your fish, that's something that's a very similar technique, but it's easier if you have two people. And fortunately, we have plenty of people here today. Hi, fans. It's good to be with you. <laughs> okay, we got Alex checking the first trap here. Oh, yeah. Got a couple of them. Okay, don't put don't put the trap down. Never put it down because then it collapses. Let's. Is there one male and one female? Yeah, there's one male. Oh, that's perfect. If you're not used to handling crabs, I would not try to pick them up because you're going to get pinched. Got one. Oh no. So Alex, tell the people what kind of crab this is. So that is a female. And then how do you tell the difference between a male and a female? So there's two ways to tell the difference. So first of all, you can see the claws are are redder than, than the male. Okay. More, more on the male later. So generally if a crab has red tips of the claws, that's going to be a female. And then what's another way to another, look on the other side? Another way is that is that the apron is more like fat. So the underside here, this is called the apron. Yeah. And there is a difference in shape between the apron and, and a male and a female. So we're going to let her go, but this is a female. Everyone take a look. And now we're going to get the male. This is a male. Because the claws are darker than the female. And also, you can see on the apron, it is thinner. All right, Mr. Male Blue Crab, should we let you go? See ya. Okay, Ryan, you want to see what's in there? Let's do it. Here in North Carolina, the limit is five inches from point to point. And we have cut this PVC pipe five inches to measure so we don't have to get our hands quite as close. And we just measured these and they're just a little bit shy. So we're gonna let them go. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Pull it in, pull it in, that's a keeper. That's a big one. That's a big one, okay. Nice. Way to pull up that 
Okay, gang, just to make it official, we're going to measure this one, and he's easily over five. Now, what we like to do is put them into a cooler with some ice. It doesn't kill the crab. It just sort of puts them to sleep and makes them lethargic, and it's an easier to, way to handle them. The hand line is a little more tricky, and I'm not sure if there's a crab on here because it appears there's still some slack on the line, but let's just go ahead and pretend there is. Alex, so get the net ready, and I'm going to slowly lift it up. The crab will grab on here and not let go for a little while, so you have time potentially to get the net, which is what Alex is doing, under so we can scoop the crab up. I'm going to come to you, okay? There's nothing on? Okay. Oh, the, oh it's solar meat. Oh, keep her. Swing it over, swing it over. Good. Swing it over. Wow, that is Bring it over here. Look at that. Another male. Nice. Not scared. Yeah. No, it's your mom's right. It's Alright, Rye. What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god. I knew he was coming. Oh my god. Alright, pull this up. I gotta get this on camera. Watch your Pick it up by its by its backside. Turtle. Oh, oh it's gonna bite you. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. oh, he's got a nice release. Big Look at that release. Oh, nice big job, big buddy. Big turtle See, I, told you he was coming over to I wasn't that. recording. Uh, I wonder if his head is gonna pop. You were recording. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of filmmaker are you? <laughs> okay, y'all. So this hand line has a crab on it. The hand line is right here. And I had a whole bunch of slack in it, but now it's going out this way and there's tension in the line. That means a crab is on the other end of it. So Alex is gonna get the net in position and I am going to, as gently as possible, pull it up. See how it's way out there now? Yeah. There's definitely a crab on here. Oh yeah. You're gonna have to slide it under, okay. Get it under, 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 under. You get it, you get it? Oh, dude. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, all right. I think next step I should do the one and you should do the one. Okay. Go for it, pal. Oh, it's a good one. Pull it in here. Oh, yeah. Get it around. Get it around. It's too late. Oh, yeah. Yeah, keep it. I think so. Wait. Looks like it. This is a keeper, right? Good. You got right, right. Yeah, you're right. Very good. All right. Let's we'll see if we can get a few more here, guys. Got one. It's. It's. It's close. Joey, that's really close. It's small. It's it is small, small, guys, by a quarter of an inch. Oh, my friend, today is your lucky day. Yes. Go back and grow a little bit. Go back and grow a little bit. In the meantime, tell everybody to subscribe to Father and Son's Fishing, okay? All right, guys. We'll see you later. I tell mom and dad to come back. Okay, we're going to give Alex and Ryan a chance at the hand line to see if they can get it done. I got one on the handline. You did? Yeah. Small one. Oh, that's okay. Oh, yeah. Swing it around. Swing it around. Up, 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 up. Oh, that looks like a keeper. That looks pretty good. Oh, it must have had the bait. Can someone grab the trap for me? Okay. Go. I got it, I got it, I got it. Is it too small? It keeps, guys. Yes. Oh, wow, three crabs. Oh, wow. Whoa. 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 Go grab that with the tongs, Alex. Oh, 
It's easier to flip them over. Yeah, you short. You want to let him go? All right, buddy, you're low. <laughs> okay. Is there a crab on? There is. Oh yeah, there's a crab. Oh no. Okay. Pull it. No, no, no. <laughs> you guys always let it go in the net. Don't let it go in the net. You're not done. Once you realize there's a crab down on there, you're not. Your job isn't done. He's got a crab. Pull it around. So can you hold it so I can see if it's a male? Hold it up, and you, you you say it's a male or female. Male. Oh yeah, Ryan. Oh, pull it up. Pull it up. You got some. You got three of them. Pull it up. Pull it up. Hurry! 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 <laughs> Okay, can you hold the trap up for me? We got one that may be a keeper, but I think it's gonna be a little yeah, small. Yeah, can you hold it? So we so got I can three see. crabs here. Well, folks, we are winding down. We do have one final trick to show y'all how to get some really nice crabs in your cooler. So the other trick to getting really good quality blue crabs is you go buy them. <laughs> right, right? Yeah. We're at Endurance Seafood in Collington, North Carolina. This is one of our favorite local seafood places. We've always gotten really good quality crabs from them. We hope that if you've never crabbed before, you've got a couple pointers and at least a direction where to start. You don't need much equipment at all. I think it's easier to get started crabbing than fishing. And it's super fun, right, Ryan? Yeah. So let's wind this down here, Ryan. What should the people do? Subscribe to our channel for them on fishing. And crabbing. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out, friends. We'll see you soon. And then they're going to crawl right out. 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 OMG, oh no. You can't say penis. What is a, 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 say a pencil. Oh, pencil. And I wasn't recording at all, guys. I'm sorry.